Good morning everyone, I'm back um, with a little bit of an update. A um, couple of things I want to go over. This is um, mainly for Family of Gamers 777. They had asked me a question about the Space Marine Special Weapons Pack. And this is also for Red Steel Alton Fulgrim. Uh, because he was interested in this uh, nicely painted Hellblade. So um, I'll go over this in a little bit. Uh, right now, uh, for Family of Gamers, um, they wanted to know a little bit about this um, <coughs> weapon screw. So um, just so you know, uh, this is. Um, I guess for a tactical squad, squad uh, you have your Melta right there. You have your Melta. Sorry that the camera's not the, that great, guys. I'm working on trying to get another one. And here is your Flamer right here. Uh, the Flamer, I will tell you, it's a little bit hard to work with. It's easier to work with the Melta than with the Flamer. But if you do it right, you can actually get the flamer to be somewhat halfway decent as you can see just a little bit of work a little bit of um, manipulation <clears throat> and then you got the uh, rocket launcher right here the old old school pre-heresy rocket launcher and I got ten of these for my long fangs so um, I'm going to end up with a couple more of these than I have originally expected but it gives me options to add more t uh, units later to kind of kit them out with both of these and you got this is which is like a a back piece to a rocket that slots in right there so um, if you're um, uh, I would say this uh, family of gamers 777 if you're interested in getting this this is worth it Th this screw th this um, space marine special weapons pack it's worth the money because if say if you were going to just get like if you were just gonna get the uh, rocket launcher you're gonna be spending roughly 12 bucks for X amount of rocket launchers that you're getting. Me, I'm I'm using 15 altogether. So I had to find five regular GW rocket launchers, and that was a pain in the butt to actually get it at a decent price. I got it out of Depticon. It was going to be 40. I got it for no, it was going to be 50 because it was 10 bucks per launcher, but I got it for 45 because I asked the guy to find them for me, and I'll pay him the money because I had a few other things to go on. I'm going to edit that out uh, but if you're just if you want to get the rocket launchers from this pack I would suggest just getting it through the pack one it's a better um, mold better uh, looking rocket launcher than what the devastated rocket launchers looks like and it will fit a little bit more easier than the pre-heresy with the pre-heresy look to it and you're actually saving money with the Forge World. The one time you actually save money is with Forge World. Is when you're looking for the uh, rocket launchers. Same thing with the Flamer and the um, Melta. And this arm here is for the rocket launcher that um, you'll you'll come to see later. So now let's move on for Red Steel Ultim Fulgrim. I I told you, my friend, that I would do a little video on this, and here it is. Um, it's a little bit hard to see in there. I, I'm trying to get it to where you can see it through the light. Yes, those are my space wolves and a messy desk. Uh, but if you look in there, you can tell, you can see that the panel is fully painted, detailed, and you got a lot of OSL lighting on the um, on the driver or the flyer. Um, I, I do, I do have the, um, Marcus Lemesh on both wings, one here and one here. Um, this was actually, out of the five of these that I bought years ago, this was actually the best 
um, resin mold that I ever got. Um, the others that I got, the wings were ho horribly warped, but um, some non-metallic metals here, painting. I got a lot of um, kind of like electricity style, and this is this is my favorite part. This is my favorite part. Let's see if I can get this underneath the light. Yeah, there we go. So re really, really good object source lighting for the engine. The plasma drives engine. So that's my favorite part of this model. Maybe if I can. There we go. So, uh, so the engine you you can tell is burning hot. So, so that's um that, that's this one. Um, if you're interested, you know I'm on um, Google Plus. You can get a hold of me there. We'll we can talk. Uh, PM me through Facebook, and um, that's only if you're interested. If not, no worries. It. This has never seen a battlefield. This has never been on a tabletop. It's been, it was painted, put in the box, and never used. <laughs> for lack of a better uh, for lack of a better uh, scenario. And then the other one that I got, which I use for my, which I'm going to start using for my army, is this one here, a standard um, Black Legion flyer. Nothing special. Nothing real. Um, big about this one, just some non-metallic metals. This one was a pain in the butt to get because it was still warped here in the wing. The casting right along here was kind of bad. And um, the guns were horribly warped. But um, yeah, that's